Hello everyone and welcome back to the B&B Motorsports channel. My name is Braylon and today I have the 2020 Alfa Romeo Stelvio TI Sport with the carbon fiber package for you guys. Make sure you check out the description for the specific time codes such as the tour, drive, and find review. This video is in collaboration with my fellow content creator, Will's Wheels. Big shout out to him and make sure you guys go check out his channel. This all-wheel drive Stelvio TI Sport is loaded with the carbon fiber package. Alfa Romeo combined performance and comfort to create the ultimate luxury vehicle. There are six other trim levels besides the TI Sport. The Stelvio, Stelvio Sport, Stelvio TI coming with four levels, and the Quadrifoglio. The sharp white is classified as Alfa White. Let's take a look at this engine. This engine is the 2 liter I4 DI Turbo. This engine's horsepower is 280 at 5,200 RPM and the torque is 306 at 2,000 RPM. The transmission is an automatic ZF8, an 8-speed, with paddle shifters. It only takes about 100 milliseconds to shift gears. The transmission has three settings, A for all weather, N for natural, and D for dynamic, which is known as sport mode. Alpha calls it their DNA. Will sprung for the carbon fiber package, which adds enhancements to the notorious nose of the Alfa Romeo, as well as the side mirrors, the door panels, and the console area. The gear ratio is 373. There's multi-link rear suspension with coil springs and double wishbone front suspension with coil springs as well. I'm really loving how Will added these bronze Asante wheels to replace the stock aluminum ones. These tires here are the 255 20s all the way around. And check out the Alfa Romeo red calipers, which matches up really well with that sharp red interior. You'll get to check it out in just a second. Now the Stelvio is a pretty practical SUV. It gets 22 miles per gallon in the city, 28 on the highway for a combined 24, and the fuel tank holds approximately 16.9 gallons. If you're buying the Stelvio for the practicality, you would expect to, for it to be a convenient vehicle. Let's check out all of this trunk space. I like how this automatically lifts up just in case your hands are full. There's a ton of space back here. Unfortunately, this Stelvio doesn't have a third row seat for the mother-in-law. Some pros here, the Stelvio is very practical. We talked about the gas mileage, which will really come in handy, especially lately. I'm loving the bronze Asante wheels that Will added. And I just think this looks very sharp and kind of sporty for an SUV. So you don't have to give up the sports car feel if you had to sell your Camaro or your Mustang. One of the most distinctive features of the Alfa Romeo is this nose right here, which is offset nicely by the carbon fiber. As I showed you guys earlier, I'm really loving how that package looks. A suggestion I have is the Stelvio may feel a little sportier if it is lowered a couple of inches. This may not be an option everyone wants, but it's something I would be interested in. I am obsessed with this interior. I think you guys are really going to love it, so let's check it out. Buckle up, we are going to be giving this interior all of the attention that it deserves. First of all, shout out to Will, he made a fantastic choice selecting the red interior to offset his white body. Just beautiful, beautiful stitching. The seats look absolutely amazing. The back seat, just as great as the front seat. However, it is important to note that there is minimal space for passengers in the back. Now, a positive with that, is the trade-off of extra cargo space. So you have plenty of room for groceries or whatever you're going to be hauling around, just maybe not people. Now we're gonna look at the gauges and all I have to say is wow, look at that quiet luxury. Giving you a quick close-up look here before we turn this SUV on. All kinds of controls right there at your disposal. There's the steering wheel paddle shifters, you can control your music, 
there with the steering wheel controls as well as hill descent control and some other modern amenities. Here's the 8.8 .8 inch screen. Very useful. There's the backup camera right there. The last thing I want to show you is this sunroof. Absolutely love this. I'm sure Will will be enjoying it in the coming summer months. A quick breakdown of this interior. This is a luxury vehicle. I'm sure you could tell from the exquisite stitching, the beautiful, vibrant red colors here. Alfa Romeo did not skimp when making sure you knew that you're owning and driving a luxury SUV. I love all of the carbon fiber accents. I think that was a great package that Will added onto the Stelvio. I found a couple shortcomings. The backup camera isn't up to par with the quality as I had expected. And since this is a compact SUV, you have to trade off passenger space with the cargo area. All right, let's check out the key. You all saw that the Stelvio has the push button start, but we have the unlock, the lock, remote start, trunk release, and the panic button. All right, let's go for the drive. designed the Stelvio to be driver-centered. You'll have to hear from B. Shaw as far as the passenger's opinion. Back seat is comfortable, but it's extremely difficult to get your feet in past the B pillar. Other than that, it's pretty comfortable. I'd ride in at any time. Well, you heard it from the man himself. It's got to be right. while driving, but the stereo in this car helps make up for the lack of V8 sound. I really like how the Stelvio is responsive to my every command when it comes to steering or braking. All in all, I think Alfa Romeo did a great job designing the Stelvio. The vibrant red interior makes me feel like I'm driving around in style. Let's head back for the final review. All right, you all made it to the final review, so let's get right into it. I think Alfa Romeo did a great job creating a sporty SUV with the Stellaro. I really enjoyed driving it. It was very responsive to all of my steering commands and my braking commands. I never felt out of control in the slightest. Next up is aesthetics. I think Will did a great job selecting the carbon fiber package. I'm sure you remember some of those trim pieces that I showed you. I think that enhances the look of the Stelvio exponentially. I also like how Alfa Romeo matched their calipers to the red interior. Of course, you heard me go on and on about that interior, but I think it deserves some more talking about, which as we get into the comfort section, you truly are riding in style. The interior gives you a very exotic and luxurious feel, extremely comfortable. I have absolutely zero complaints. Practicality wise, the Stellaro gets a decent amount of gas mileage, so no complaints there. And I'm sure you all are looking for some practical vehicles on the road, especially now. There is a ton of cargo space, as I showed you, and it's very nice with the hands-free options. However, you do have a trade-off where your backseat passengers may struggle a bit, especially if they are taller individuals. 
it is very driver centered so I greatly enjoyed it but if you're hauling around a bunch of kids they may or may not like it. The fun factor was very high of course I'm sure you can imagine with the great performance it doesn't feel like a mommy mobile whatsoever it feels like you're driving a sports car while also having the convenience of having some more space. And lastly, the overall experience. I think the Stellaro is a great blend of the classy style paired with the convenience of a modern SUV. Great job to Alfa Romeo. Uh, I would love to compliment Will again on all of his package choices. I think he did a great job selecting the TI Sport. I really, really enjoyed driving his Stellaro. Thank you again, Will. Make sure you guys go check out his channel, Will's Wheels. As I've said before, I'll drop his link down below. He reviewed my Camaro Brook, so be on the lookout for that video because her video will be dropping soon. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next week on the next Motorsports Monday all for B&B Motorsports this week. If you want to check out more videos of the Stelvio, check out Will's Wheels channel. I've dropped his channel link down in the description. And now my car will be featured on his channel. So make sure you give a huge shout out to Will's Wheels. Thanks again.